Monksy bitch. At least I'll stream good. Don't lol me! Uh, thank you, Banana. That's right. We should be back. Say, we are live again. It's starting. It's, it's starting. It's, it's, it's still starting. It's totally going to start as another episode. Yeah, it's starting as another episode. It's all good. Um, if worse comes to it, we just merge them. We can, we can fix that. <laughs> <laughs> Never had an issue. Uh, it's still starting. Why are you doing this, YouTube? Meanwhile, I'll see if I can get wheel the side up on this. Although, it has not worked. No, don't even waste time with wheel the side on the screen. Why? Because. <sighs> oh. Are we are we live? I don't know. <laughs> hey, hey, we're back. Are we? Hey, pretty good. Oh man, oh that was that was awkward, guys. Okay. Oh, oh, Mr. Nixon in the house. How's it going, Brett? Uh, Brad. Oh, what's up, so, Brett? Sorry about the lag. Sorry about that, guys. Um, we are kind of back, you know. I think. We're back. Yeah. I've got on my end. Uh, yeah, we are good. Just, yeah, yeah, we will do a part one and two. Um, because, oops. As soon as I reset the stream key, it started working again. <laughs> good work, Cam. Good work. Um, but yeah, so what we were talking about before we got rudely interrupted is on my stream right now, Tom is setting up World Aside. <laughs> as the mod sucks by Brett Nixon, who's in the chat right now. These things, awesome. Uh, I don't know what you guys caught of it, but I use mine on a daily at the moment, but Brett's probably going to cringe at this. I use it for my iJust 2, because this is my oh, work mod. Oh. And it fits it perfectly, dude. It, it fits it perfectly, like a glove. Nah, it's just nice for any kind of mod. Um... Black screen yeah. shit. Ah, uh, it was you trying to set up the wheel decide. It popped yeah, that, up. That was wheel decide, Mark. Yeah, we're, we're trying to trying to set come, up the giveaway. Come the farm, Mark. Calm it down. Calm the fan. Um. So yeah, I use mine for that. Tom's got the stack one, which is I'm I'm looking forward to getting one hopefully soon. I wouldn't mind seeing a box mod one, Brett. I know you're out there, so. <laughs> but yeah, awesome, awesome dude awesome product we, we've got a lot of awesome products to talk about today this is so great fantastic awesome if you guys can't tell i'm in a kind of rambly mood it's been a long day <laughs> <laughs> a really long day Cam, i think i'm just gonna draw the um the giveaway shall we just to get it done mate yeah and in then case we can kind of the... take our own pace for the rest of the night because i'm sure there are people who are on the verge of going to sleep or staying awake till four um same i've got the list up i can't share the screen for some reason chrome is not liked by obs um maybe it's the other way around but anyway it's gonna be a triple spin uh third spin wins 300 mils up for grabs it was from the instagram post uh so it will be the instagram um profile name that will be drawn so you kind of have to listen up and and make sure that it's yourself uh but we're going for the first spin you should hear the wheel decide at least um how's it going phil just just another thing before you hit that spin again um if you either message myself or tom on instagram if you are the winner just so we can verify the account and then we'll take it over to facebook so on the vaping UE facebook as well Sweet and next. Yeah, exactly, Mox, because Chrome doesn't like it. But spin. Second. <laughs> Daddy needs some juice. Good luck, Richard. Good luck, guys. Good luck, everyone. And 
final one. So the winner of the 300 mil is DJRAXX uh, on Instagram. So DJ if that is Ray. your Instagram, please contact us on Instagram. Yep. Um, either myself, so Renaissance underscore vapes, or Cameron, uh, Kiwi vapes. Kiwi vapes, yep. Um, and we'll get it sorted for you uh, and go through. Sort that out. But 300 mils is coming your way, whoever you may be. So that is 10 30 mils of winner's choice. Just Off the just e juice website. Um, 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 um. So, yeah, congratulations. Congratulations. I'm trying to find the person's name so I can see if I can find out who it is. <laughs> Going for a little bit of an Instagram stock there. I, I don't want to butcher the name, but I found the name. Okay. Um, Tyson Dixon? I think that's how you say it. I, I hope that's how you say it. <laughs> but yeah, congratulations. <laughs> I hope I hope I didn't butcher your name. But DJ Rex, congratulations. Hit us up. Hit hit one of us up. Either one. Yeah. So next week's prize, also an Instagram competition. It is real easy to make an Instagram, guys. Just just if you don't have Instagram, it takes all of two seconds. You can use your Facebook account just as well. Just log in with Facebook, yeah. Like, it, you don't even have to make an Instagram. You just log in with Facebook because Facebook owns Instagram. Uh, Mox, the winner was DJ R A double X. DJ Rex. DJ Rex. I'm not going to try and repeat the extra. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Cam. <laughs> uh, anyway, Cam, what do you have that's new? Apart from the beautiful mod and all that crap, what's new? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I, I honestly, I'm, I'm putting myself on a vape gear ban, except I've got a new RDA coming next week. Um, but yeah, I'm on a vape gear ban for a while except for next week, um, which I do have the sleeper RDA. Hopefully it'll be here before Christmas, hopefully. But knowing my luck with couriers, it probably won't be, so I won't have it on the show next week. But if I do, I'll hopefully be able to talk about it. Hopefully. I have this. Yeah, screw you, Phil. Yeah, he got it today, didn't he? I know, man. I saw your build in it. It looks beautiful. I'm really looking forward to it. I've got some Good ideas for it. Um, what I can build in it. Richard's vape ban is like saying that humans don't defecate. Or breathe. Or breathe. Um, Leon, I'm, I'm hoping it lasts long. Um, I, I do have a trip to say for, which means I'm going to Australia. Oh, mate, it never lasts. No. Yeah, never. There's so many new things coming out in January. Mm. Mm. And also I'm looking at getting a deaf mod, like an actual deaf mod, not the offshore vapes mod that I got told was. Yeah, but <coughs> um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know how long it will actually last. Uh, Richard, if you can go for a vape ban for six months, I would be surprised. If you Even can go for weeks. a vape ban for two weeks, that's an accomplishment in itself. How about this, uh, Richard? If you can last two weeks, I'll buy you a bottle of decadence. Oh, now he's got 250 million. Bro. Okay, I'll buy myself a bottle of decadence if you lost <laughs> it. Um, so, yeah, that, that was the giveaway. Um, if you guys want to talk about shit, what, what's something new that you guys want us to get in? That'd be actually something inter interesting to find out. Cause... And please don't say the most expensive. Yeah, please don't say like an able. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> or a or endo, endo armor or whatever it is. Oh, stuff hey. those anyway. Um, yeah, so if there are any products you want us to look at next year. Ooh, 
don't don't pull that out, Tom. The sleeper, yeah, Phil, that'll be one that we definitely. Well, I I look at. I don't know if Tom's looking at getting one, but Can't it's something that. new. Oh. Yeah, it's just not my style. No, nah. and that that's the thing. Vaping's so selective and broad and all that jazz. Tom, talk about it. Talk about it. I know this you want to. This thing. Holy shit. Holy shit balls. I was so against it because of bottom airflow. So opposed to thinking that it was going to be good. Um, and it's put the limitless to sleep, which is not a hard thing to do anyway. Um, it is put the avocado to sleep. It has put the combo to sleep. It has put the fucking theorem to sleep. That's any, what I had to do. <clears throat> any RDTA is gone in my books compared Ooh. to the V God tank. Yep. Like honestly, the the flavor, no dry hits whatsoever as well. And I haven't had to wick it in any special way. Not like you know, like the avocado. You always have to show me how to do it and shit yeah. like that and you know even after so long and my wicking shit richard will vouch for this that my wicking is some of the shittest wicking that has ever 10 out of 10 would agree ever existed but this no dry hits no nothing the flavor is incredible the you know it, it's really i like it i've had no leaks whatsoever as well thanks for the confirmation richard yeah, thank you Thanks for that, buddy. Um, uh, what do you think of the actual mod itself, though? The tube. Oh, the tube's just like any old tube, mate. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's Look, that's what I was thinking. So it's hybrid. Uh, it's a hybrid mod. Yeah, it yep. is copper the whole way through. Uh, it has a self-adjusting Delrin thing at the bottom for your battery, so that's like spring-loaded. Mm -hmm. So it moves by itself, which is kind of a nice touch. I prefer that over the manual ones. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm not gonna disagree with him, eh? I I can't either. I've seen your wicking firsthand, like yeah. when we had that coil day, and it was atrocious. But continue. So it's copper all the way through. Yeah, copper all the way Pretty through. Fun. But um, the inside is Delrin insulated the whole way down. Uh, so the entire tube is Delrin insulated on the inside. Uh, also, the vent holes are quite an interesting one. They go the whole way up. On the side just kind of you know i guess it makes sense Doesn't yeah i mean it goes you, out the first you know. hole and works its way down yeah exactly on what way you i mean go. you know in theory though if you have your hand on it oh yeah but uh, the thing is when it vents you will hear it which you is... run <laughs> you toss yeah. it and run <clears throat> um oh oh I, li I like that question aaron thoughts on the latest four battery mods coming out 300 watt plus you know what? You want to start, Tom? Yeah, you know what? That smock one looks the tits. The one that's no bigger than an RX200, no bigger than the Alien kit, but it's still a four battery mod? Hell yeah. I'll, I'll probably try and try and get my hands on one to have a look at. Like, I'm, I'm thoroughly interested in that. Yeah. The RX300, or whatever the hell it is called, it's going to be a great battery bank for my phone, but that is about it. That's the way I see it. Yep. Um, it, it looks extremely chunky. Um, I was watching an unboxing video today, and it's got that same battery door that the Cuboid has. So I'm kind of weirded out by that. They could have chosen something a bit different. Yeah, they really could have. Like removable back panel, like the normal RXs, but nope um at least they've changed out the 510 i'm grateful for yeah that's um, what I was but they come with a usb plug where you screw in the 510 thing and then you plug in your usb so you can charge your phone through it to me it, the way i see it it's a battery bank that you can change the batteries out on if you're out okay. camping and that's all you have and you've got a bunch of lg poo logs you can, you know, you can just swap out the batteries if they're running low and you can keep charging your phone, which is great. As a mod, no, thank you. I'm, I'll pass. 
The mm. smock one? Hell yeah. I'm, I'm down for that shit any day. Uh, and then what's the other one? There's another one. Oh, the Maxo, in my opinion, is just too big. Yeah. All right. Um, so the Maxo, in my opinion, is it's it's thick, but it's not that tall. That's what she said. Um, so it's like a joke. Yeah, it is. It's, it's large, large, like hand wise. But yeah, it's not that big. Um, it's bigger than an RX. It's quite. I won't quite even tall. look at it. Which one? The RX three hundred. I won't yeah. look at at all. Not even as a battery bank for your phone. Nope. No, you know what I was thinking about? Have it as a battery bank for my DNA mod. <laughs> That that was <laughs> one thing I was thinking. Yeah. Um, is it called the, the Smock Marshall? Is that? The I name think it? it may be. It's not the new um, the G three twenty. I think it's the. It could be the Marshall. Uh, I believe the Marshall was the Marshall three twenty. Nah, not the Marshall. Then no, no. There's a new one, a four battery one. Marshall is a three three, three battery, battery three hundred watt mod. They're yeah. releasing a four battery mod now. Um, which really, really looks great. Like, it actually yeah. looks amazing. Uh, I'm going to try and find the name while Cam jibber um, a little bit. So, I, I like the look of that smog mod. I did see it posted on one of our vape groups earlier. GX350. If you want to look it up, it's the GX350. GX350. <clears throat> mm. Oh, it looks nice. Can it also be used in dual battery though? That would be. I believe so. I don't want to say it is, but they haven't really released anything about it yet. No, no, they they haven't. Which is, oh wait, it says two hundred and twenty with two in. So you can so two or four, three fifty so or two. It's the same as the Maxo. Maxo. Um, yeah. in that sense, I I think that's something that I might look in, and it does come in that rainbow kind of color, like the chameleon. Yeah. Yeah, like, I think sure. that it would be something pretty to look at. You It'd know? be something different. Yeah, maybe yeah. not pretty, but something different for sure. The black and red looks really nice. Um, what was the third one? Don't lean into your mic cam. Sit back. You're starting to echo. Uh, okay, I just sorry, Mark. Jesus. Um, Maxo Smock, and what was the other one? What was the other one? The RX. RX. Yeah. No. Rx yeah. is just out the window instantly for me. Like it seems to be going crazy on like Instagram and stuff like that, but to me it's like you know, I'm I'm not it doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, the Smoke GX350, I would use that. Okay, that's that's interesting looks, but I do like the fact that the the Smoke one does come with a TFE8 cloud beast. That's that's a bonus for me. Like the cat. If you It will probably cat. come as mod only as well in the in the yeah. future. But it is actually the exact same size as an RX 200, not an RX 300. RX 200 is not any bigger, but it's a four battery mod. So yeah. that with four poo logs, you are set. Yeah, like you should be Go set for a couple camping, days. You know, dude, that would be like my camping mod. Four batteries would be sorted. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I like the look of it. You know, just yeah. the the. I don't know if it's real carbon fiber they're going to put on the sides or fake stuff, but it's got that, that HPRIV style trigger as well. And as much as a lot of people this that, it's, I actually really enjoy it. The Fuchsia 360. Yes and no. I, I don't like where the, um, the, the panel is, like the LED screen and i haven't even buttons. seen that one um it's it's something you know completely you're yelling at tom from the back of a hole oh maybe i am yelling at tom from hold, the on. Back of the hold on we'll sort it demo guys um Excellent. but no one can hear you wait a second the 360 looks cool oh, all right you're back that's all good okay Okay, so I'm back. The 360 looks kind of cool. The way it's shaped, it kind of reminds me of like the Maxo in a way though. And it does have like that flat panel on the side where you've got the LED screen and the buttons. What did you That's look what up? turns me off of it though. Yes. Um, funny enough, it's on a Russian website. Give me the link. I'll send you the link so you can look at the 
photo, but you can't read it because it's in Russian. Um, and also, whilst we're at the Smoke uh, 320, which is the other one you were talking about, Aaron, I like the fact that you can use it in dual battery or triple battery. Um, the shape of it, yeah, it's it's not bad. One thing these new mods don't have is relocated five chain connections, though. So big RDA stones. Yeah, yeah. You can't use like a 30 mil on it because it's not, if it was in the center, like right in the center of the mod, you could use a 30 mil on it, fine. Mason dump tank, sorted for a couple of days. Like, you know. For a couple of days. A couple of hours, if it's a. Yeah, especially if you're vaping at like 300 watts, that's <laughs> that's true. Um, yeah, I think I think it's a cool step towards the future, but personally i still like my dual battery mods quite a lot and even my triple batteries and that's that's something where just just on that note like the triad seems to be getting better battery life than the maxo yeah triad's a triple battery mod the maxo is a quadruple battery mod you're extracting yeah you're extracting a lot more battery life out of your three batteries than or out of your four due to the chip obviously yeah. but that that's where you know your maxo, what's the maxo? 140? 130? 130 bucks? Yeah, Am something right? like that. 130, 140, yeah. something. So that plus your four batteries, you're pretty much, you know, you're almost to the price of a, a triad. I've seen them for 189, I believe. Yeah, it's the lowest I've seen in the triad. I'm not saying the triad is the end or be all of DNA devices, but it's just a good option for if you want to get into it and you really want battery life. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good shit. Um, but yeah. What I'm interested to see is these uh, 20, the 2500 uh, batteries coming out. The uh, all new form factor, which is going to be the, you know, the norm because um, they're slightly larger than an 18, 18650. But they have capacities like four thousand milliamps at that size. So mm -hmm. you were to chuck, you know, four of those, three of those into a mod, you'd be so. Yeah, uh, Richard, I agree. I, I definitely agree. Um, my triad will always be something that, even that, at full price, even even at well, I think I paid two fifty for it, excluding six batteries. Um, but this thing has lasted me a long time i still use it as often as i can but obviously since getting this it's kind of taken a back seat um i try and use it at work though it's my beater mod now yeah you know it's it's the mod that i can That's take so out bad. yeah but mine the paints come off you know like yeah. i've polished it if it takes a beating it takes a beating and that's that's the story you know what i mean it's but uh yeah probably going to end up getting i'm going to go grab some a thousand one thousand two thousand grit sandpaper and give it a full buff and polish yeah and and that's where you know like you like richard richard uses his triad in the car as his like you know work around bash around yeah. mod and then at home he'll use his well, and, and it's kind of the same way now yeah so yeah exactly richard like this thing this this lasts me three days and i've had this set of batteries in here for a day and a half and it's not gonna focus come on there we go damn day and a half i've used it quite a bit at 130 watts because that's my vaping temp and it's still you know only a quarter of the way so it, it does last me three days if i'm using it constantly though which is a nice thing i haven't put this through its full paces yet which i will be doing this weekend it's off VTC fours. I got two days, full days, and, and then we'll charge uh, 110. Uh, yeah, yeah, I might try that. Two full days, 110 watts. It took about an hour, hour and a bit to fully charge back up. Two amp charge. Excellent. It's variable, is it? I, I wonder if this is going to do it. Yeah, I'm using poo logs, eh? No, I've got VTC fours in, in here. In your right triad. Now. Oh, in the triad, I have VT, uh, LG HG2s, yes. Yeah. Boop. Boop um, and then I've got, I've got VTC4s in the triad, and I still get, like, two days. 
full two days minimum. Damn it, it doesn't want to show me it. What? Oh, I'm trying to get the. Oh, I need to go through eScribe. Do you, do you have a charging two amp charger now? And if anyone... oh, how's it going, Tommy Hunter? Looking nah, forward to that package. I don't. I don't have it. But yeah, so Tom sent me a video earlier today of him charging. Uh, I think it was like one point eight. It, it, no, one point five one. But the thing is, it varies. It you'll actually watch it range between one point one amps, point zero nine eight. It kind of, it's kind of deciding where to place that charge on the batteries, so yeah. that you get the best out of your batteries. Basically, is is the way to put it. Um, but it's it's pretty pretty good. I mean, it charges really bloody quick. It's like the new um, uh, mega volt that Richard has, which charges in 30, 30 minutes flat, a full battery. So eight hours VTC fours, hundred and ten watts. The only thing that I can say about the VTC fours and VTC fives is they will actually handle higher wattage. Yeah, a That's lot why... more. Um. I would love to see a 3,000 milliamp, 30 amp battery, but that's not well, going to happen. Because, it's so. not going to happen, but the VTC6 look promising. Like, a, yeah. not, not promising in the sense that they're 30 amp at 3,100, but promising in the sense that battery technology is definitely moving forward. Yeah. You know, they're, they're getting that higher amperage and it because of the the tesla cars because that's that's what these batteries are in right you know the teslas they're trying to extract more power out of batteries and all that kind of stuff cam she's right you are vapes lot um uh, see the comment after that takes on to no one bitch <laughs> love you mox <laughs> how's it going yunkle holy oh, yeah. shit you, you sounded like bloody gossip girl just then i, I totally did XOXO. XO. XO. Um, um yeah just in perspective from your eight hours on your vt or is that 100 or rx you know like two full days full days on a triad with vtc fours like good old constant vaping um you'd get three days if you were using a few browns but you're just that 110 watts is not going to be as reliable i guess i mean yeah. on, on three battery configuration it doesn't matter as much right because you're you're splitting that that amperage between has has gone yeti uh up, Yeti. How the frick are you awake though? At 10 a.m. So it must be what, 7 or 8 a.m. over those ways? Oh, yeah. Christmas is coming. Yes, yes, it is. And we're doing a Christmas Eve show because <laughs> we, we don't have any lives. Um, what? Are we? That. Or are we? Do, did we end up saying we were going to do it before? I don't know. I can't remember, dude. Did we say we were going to do it the 22nd? Okay, I think we're going to hit up the Facebooks. Make sure you're following us at the. Uh, but we will post here with a different time for the final one of this year, yep. uh, which okay. is the Christmas one, which is the one we're doing the huge giveaway on. So make sure to tune in. Um, if not, it's all good because it's not going to send out until next. Uh, no, it is not wrong to buy yourself Christmas presents. Um, yes, I am doing a twenty-second show. Uh, Probably better that I do a 22nd show instead of a 24th. Unless you want me on the computer and carry carry on the 24th. And we're the vaping Amy and Tom is having a conversation with his wife. Um, anyway. But yes, <laughs> I, I, I suggest you let him do the 22nd instead of the 24th. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I was thinking so. Tom's getting like, Whoosh. no, there's nothing wrong with buying yourself Christmas presents. Not um, at all. I do it all the time. Right. All year round. Every week. <laughs> 3 a.m. Are you... this fireworks? Holy shit, Yeti. I can't win this battle. <laughs> no, but we will win the war anyway. Um, <laughs> what? I didn't say that. Um, how comfy is that couch, eh, Tom? It It's quite comfy. I can vouch for that. Which couch? Your pull-out couch. Your, your, your futon. Oh, yeah. Real comfy. It, it is. I, I slept on that the whole week of the vape meet. No. That's not where I'm sleeping, though. You know that, Abe. She may be a far north girl, but... Handle it. 
actually, whilst Yeti's here, uh, big shout out to Yeti. He makes coils in America. I'm kind of gutted uh, Megs is in, in the chat right now because she makes great coils here. But uh, Yeti does have a website as well. Um, I'll get him to send me the link after and I'll throw it up somewhere in the description because he is a good dude and he makes some really affordable coils. And if you are in America and you're watching this, pick some up. Shit, if you're in New Zealand and you can afford shipping because shipping is ridiculously crazy at the moment, get some because they are really nice coils. Really nice coils. I don't know if you've had a look at them, Tom, but they are... I follow Yeti on Instagram. He knows it. He comments we, on we, all we, my we... posts. Well, not all my posts, but he does comment on them. Okay, <laughs> that, that sounds good, Yeti. I was just going to say, PM me after the show, but I will, <laughs> I will PM you after the show, man. Um, actually, why don't you PM me now, bro? Because I'm, I'm, I'm lazy. Let's be honest. You, you should know this by now. Are you, Dot com. You're lazy? <sighs> nah, I don't say that. Dot com. <clears throat> so, yeah. Yetiwire.com. Yetiwire. Um, just as well, if anyone is really interested in one of these mods, um, in the description we will have an email to the gent who makes it, uh, as he has told me that put it there as well. Yep, I've got his email right here. It's just in case, you know, anyone wants to get a hold of them, is interested in getting one, okay. that is the case. Well, uh, if you want a mod sock... Contact us and we'll put you in contact with the chat. Oh. loves mod. And it's in the description. So that is Jonas's email. Hit up Jonas. Awesome dude. Did you really just spark with face? <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. Thanks, Fox. Um, but yeah, so Jonas, awesome, awesome dude awesome products and he is really approachable and knowledgeable about his product yeah he knows what he's talking about yeah really really does um so yeah dj rex hit us up on instagram to confirm i'm hoping you're watching this because I, I don't want to have to chase chase you well you know worst case scenario there's a redraw in two weeks Two weeks? We're, well, we're on holiday. There's a redraw after the holidays. Ah! Gotta go. Chow. Oh, dude. Wait, do you oh. mean chow as in food or do you mean chow as an Arriva Dirty Chow? It's, yeah, it's C I A O. Chow is like you're gonna eat mofos. <laughs> Could be the case. But anyway. <laughs> but it, is, it is Richard. So possibility. <laughs> See you later, Richard. Hope you have a good evening. Uh, don't yeah. drink beers and buy me a hexo. But if you do, get me tomorrow morning. Yeah, buy me a, a Megavolt and a TFV, baby. Brought your nail out of the watches. I wish we could do that, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. I, I really wish we could. Um, but yeah, if if in doubt, we will tell you guys. And even if we do like a quick redraw one day during the holidays that we are going to have. Yeah. I think I think we've what been on four months now, plus more than um, that. Show. It's been more than that, dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Plus I mean show. So we have been on for a while and I guess guess we deserve a little bit of a break. Just just a small one. Just an intermission. An intermission. Before before the shit gets good. <laughs> yeah, this is like the warm up. <laughs> oh, shit. This is what happens when I don't have enough sleep and then work all day. And drink Monster Oat. No. <laughs> what are you on about, Tom? Yeah, what monster? Um, for your manoversary, our our manoversary, like if you mean like when we first met, that's that's a while away. Yeah, yeah, that is a while away, eh? Or our first actual like vape meet manoversary would be. A while away as well. Now, there's, there's plans of doing the first show of uh, next year in each other's company. 
Yeah, yeah, that's, we that's a possibility. Um, ah, here we go. Hey, I've got... Oh, oh, I, I like that one, Yeti. <clears throat> I, I like that, Pam. Thank you, Yeti. Uh, I'll talk to you after the show about that. Um, I will throw the live link for Zoom as well up in our chat. So if you guys do want to come chill for a bit, I don't know if Tom's willing to chill for a bit or he wants to go to bed bed because he looks tired. 19th of August, first show. It's been a journey. More to come. Yeah, yeah, it, it has been a journey. It's been very eventful. Seeing where we came from, like our first show and then our first sponsor to where we are now. I love how much the dynamics have changed, though. <laughs> I used to be the dude who was stressing out about the time we start, and now it's and you. It's me. <laughs> dude, I, I think what happened is you're just like, bruh, you know, constantly hitting me like, yo, yo we got five minutes, yeah, we got five minutes. And, and now then it's like, you. Meh, meh, whatever, we got five minutes. And then it just went poof. And I'm just like, Tom, we got like 20 minutes to the show. Hey, Tom, are you ready? We've got an hour. Like, hey, bro, you, you want to start? <laughs> Tom, you ready for the show? It's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's been good yeah, but yeah. So the, the last show is probably going to be on the 22nd but hey, we'll figure yeah. it out we'll post something i'm gonna well. attempt to do it outside with a beer because i think you know go out with a celebration yeah uh, how's it going matt good to see you in the chat yeah what's up matt um but yeah thanks abe as well uh it has been a very big journey for us both um that first show was if, oh, if we went back and rewatched it we'd probably cringe real we bit. should do we should do like a compilation of like best moments of 2016 and rewatch it in the new year wouldn't it just be me saying stupid <laughs> shit constantly <laughs> all your hashtags dude <laughs> pop some champers um i've got a bottle of moe but no i have to say that <laughs> How are you? Oh, how are you, Moxley? I was like, how are you? Are, are you talking to us, Yeti? But no, you're talking to Moxley. See how it is, bro. Um, but yeah, Tom, I, I got a question before you leave. Yo. Just, just to, well, before we close off soon. Right. What is your favorite wire of the year? Wire? Yes. This sounds weird, but what is your favorite coil of the year? Like, not pre made, and you, you making it or getting one in? Oh, me making it would be the um, that one I made day before yesterday. The, what the ribbon Clapton? Yeah, dude, that thing vapes like a bloody crazy face thing. If you know what. Yeah. Um, as Matt said, Nichromedia is great. Like I've got twenty gauge Nichrome. Um, it's good for low builds on my tubes and stuff, but. I'm really, really loving stainless steel fuse Clapton's 24 gauge. Hmm. Have been for a while. <clears throat> Trying to pull up. Isn't? Yeah. The T. Wait. It's Moet? I thought it was Moe. Moe. Yeah, see? Moe. There's, there's no teammate. It's silent, I think. Yeah. Moe. Moe Chandon. The company name. My way, Shandon. Yeah. Come on, dude. <laughs> Don't butcher my shit. <laughs> Ribbon coils are flavor makers. Um, ooh. No, now you got me thinking, Yeti. I'd love some ribbon wire. Like, honestly, the flavor of this, off this coil is, I don't know, it's, it's pretty extreme. So basically what I've done is I've taken a 24 gauge Nichrome, wrapped it with, um, put it over my face. The 24 gauge Nichrome wrapped it with uh, a Nichrome uh, ribbon uh, and then fused the two together by claptoning them together, the fuse claptons, um, with ribbon again. So it's kind of like the two cores are there with ribbon, with ribbon on the outside. And the flavor and the way it heats up, it heats up so evenly, so so thoroughly like the whole way through um and it reminds me of that character in deadpool or the um x-men dude who's like made entirely of like plates of metal 
It's called a juggernaut coil. Hashtag. Yeah, but the at least the juggernauts I've seen, the juggernauts I've seen are like a normal Clapton with a, a ribbon that kind of goes and is like um, spaced on the outside. I've actually got one somewhere. An actual juggernaut one, which I made the other day. Yeah. Tom anyway. coils, and I'm just sitting here like, yeah, I'll stick with these coils that have been in my RDA for four months. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> um, okay, cool. So I was just saying that. Show it. Yeah, I was going to say Moe is definitely French because it is a Champagne or Champagne, uh, which is obviously from a certain area in France. Yeah, just you know, and now you're talking with the whining Evie. No, um, not, not like whining isn't complaining, by the way. <laughs> well, if we're talking about you, <laughs> they aren't supposed to be spaced. Um, yeah, Tom used his uh, J Dallas lazy mm -hmm. shit to make your make the spaced one now. Oh, really? Oh. You got but all the, the all the juggernaut no, coils top. I've seen. All the juggernaut coils I've seen have not have always been like two wires clapped in with a spaced wire on the outside. Even from photos on Google, they're all spaced. That's that's interesting. every single one. I'm kind of intrigued with it. But honestly, I should make uh, one of those and send it to you because the the flavor and the way it heats up is mm, so good. Actually, oh, that's that's an interesting point, Tom. What the last name Moe is actually Dutch. Yeah, but but yeah. it's it's Moe and Chandon. Anyway, I love how we're still talking about booze, <laughs> and you're with the drunken Iwi. <laughs> we should just do a show one day. Um, but yeah, yeah, that was just you know a random question I had for you, Tom, because it's it's like getting to know Grim Green with the vaping Iwi. Um, but next week, I think myself and Tom will be doing a roundup of our best ofs or our favorites of the year, is the way I'm going to kind of put it. What about you, Cam? Yeah, Cam, you haven't talked to about your favorite. I, I did it. Um, I stainless Steel Fuse Clapton's. Um, I'm a big fan of stainless steel and also love 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 my fuse claptons because they do produce a nice amount of vapor and also good flavor uh how's it going christine you're awake jesus <clears throat> man all these americans awake like do you guys sleep in america do you nah. i can how much cringe right now so much pain in my loins. So yeah, I hope you guys are actually having a good evening or good morning to the Americans that are in the chat. And possibly Mox. I don't know what time you're going to bed tonight. Love, love you, Mox. You know that. Um, I went to bed and then... Ah, uh, thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Beauty. Oh, cheers. Oh, uh, and now the dog's starting. Like you're going to have a sleepless night. <laughs> it's all good. I don't have work tomorrow until I want to work because I'm not working as a chef tomorrow, which is great. Oh, awesome. So you can be on Zoom all night long then. I'm good all getting my drink on. Dude, same. I'm really looking forward to our last show of the year because hopefully I'll have a bottle of uh, Gentleman's Jack Daniels. I'll have a bottle of water. A oh. bottle of soda water. Okay. Or some Powerades. You know, got to keep those electrolytes up. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, I just, I just want to say thanks. Big, big thanks, really, to uh, Jonas. Me, Tom, appreciate it a lot. Uh, also, I believe the 
um, Kiwi Girls got them as well, and I'm pretty sure they appreciate it just as much as we do to have something so unique and made in New Zealand. That That's the one thing, other than it being custom, the fact that it's made in New Here. Zealand makes yeah, it... It's made awesome. by someone local who you yeah. can talk to. You can just message him, yeah. and he will talk to you, and can interchange feedback and stuff and it's great it's you know versus having a a big company name that you know like i could probably contact lost vapes but big big company yeah you'll be thrown around to other people you're not talking to to the dude who created it the dude who was the creator yeah who put love and effort into it we love you guys anyway. Keep up the hard work thanks yeti it was it's it's been a very eventful year for both of us um We've met so many people uh, from good. Mark Fagan to Christine, Jack Vapes, Yeti. DJ LSB. DJ LSB. A bunch of people. Mike Vapes, you know, all the the whole American, well, most of the American scene. It's I've been, had a lot, of, a lot of fanboy moments. It's been good. <laughs> neither, I haven't had fanboy moments, no. Oh, not at all. <laughs> I, I think, honestly, the biggest fanboy, though, was meeting Mooch. Oh yeah, for sure. That's it's it's probably not the biggest fanboy, but it was the like very memorable. Yeah. Um, better be coming to Welly Vapes, dude. I wish. I wish. I don't know if I can get work off um, because it is peak season and I am a chef. We'll be at Tauranga though. Tauranga Vape Meet is forty five minutes away. Tom, better go. So if you just want to get rid of him for the weekend. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, should put me I mean, in a box and ship me off the world. If if I can make it, I'll try. If Tom can make it, he'll yeah, try. I'll try if I can, but more than likely I'll be at Taronga because I've got a lot of work to do till then. A lot yeah. of lot of getting ready to do. Um, but we'll see how it goes. That vendor life though. I guess. Get a bunk beds. We just need a queen bed, mate. Mate, yeah. If you got a double, <laughs> we'll, we'll take that. Or a couch, we can we can spin on the couch. <laughs> Fuck off, Cam. Anyway, we should probably. Uh, I think we should wrap this up before wrap we... it up before it gets into the bloody. You know, it is the vaping UE after dark, though. The insomniac vaping UE. Is that a silent thanks I hear? Uh, yeah, thanks, Mox. Thanks for everything this year. It... We'll talk more about it on the on the last yeah, show. Next we'll do week, like a next a week's highlights. show is going to be a highlight show, the giveaway best things that we've got this year vape wise what we've seen and gotten this year favorite things you know all that stuff the spinning ewe is coming to a <laughs> screen near you next year sometime um <laughs> in theaters <laughs> you know we'll next week's show is going to be a massive thank you show because all the vendors and all the, the people yeah everything moxley twist in the arms typical mox twist in the arm um but we are we're gonna leave um i'm gonna throw the link in the chat feel free to come on guys we'll we'll chill for a bit just chuck it now oh fuck it fuck it i'll chuck it let's do a uh fagin lounge style <laughs> so, <laughs> have people coming in we've we've been the vaping amy uh we'll see you next week follow us on facebook if you guys want to know what time what day um yeah, we might do another. If if you guys like this sort of format where we do it late at night, tell us. Yeah, because... tell us if this works better for you because then if this works better for you, we will figure out a way to continue doing it. Though. Over yeah. being during the, in the daytime when a lot of people are still at work or a lot of people are coming home from work. Or kids. Are, down, or kids. Yeah, just, and oh. here's Matt live oh. on YouTube right now. <laughs> <laughs> so other than that, guys, we've been the vaping area and that's Matt. We'll see you guys later. Next week. It's cut him off on the screen though. But yeah. Anyway. <laughs>